Every other year, Roger State University holds the Maurice Meyer Endowed Lecture Series on the campus of RSU. This lectureship was established by Irvin Frank in the honor of his uncle, Sergeant Maurice Meyer, who died defending freedom and democracy in World War I when he was wounded by German shrapnel on September 23, 1918. This year's guest lecturer is the distinguished jurist and Claremore native Daryl Jones II, who is a U.S. District Judge for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. Thank you for being here today. My pleasure, my pleasure. It's good to know that some Oklahoma stock is making it up in the world, right? Well, you know, when I was here, they <laughs> called me Darnell, now they call me Judge Jones. So oh, it's, it, it's always good to have that touch. Judge, whatever you want, <laughs> Judge. <laughs> well, real quick, let me kind of read a little bit of your resume so the folks know exactly what all you've been doing since you've left Claremore. Your law degree from American University in Washington, College of Law, a bachelor's degree in French at Southwestern College. Got to know, I have to understand why you were thinking that. You practiced law at the Defender Association of Philadelphia, where you were among other, other responsibilities. You served as chief of the Family Court Division. Then you became a judge in the Court of Common Pleas in Philadelphia in 1987. And then you held various positions on that court of common pleas, including managing judge, uh, judicial education committee, and I can, I can go on all day long here. But in 2005, you received a presidential, you served as president, president judge of the court of common pleas for the first judicial district of Pennsylvania. That's a mouthful. <laughs> then you went on and did some more, but in 2008, you were nominated by George W. Bush and sworn in as judge in the Eastern District for Pennsylvania. So you have really climbed the ranks from the good old days of going to school, partying with the best of them, but now you have to be a distinguished judge. What's that like, being a judge on the federal level? Well, first of all, the highest honor was being class president of the class of 1968 at Claremont High School. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but no, being a, a federal judge, uh, it is, uh, a most unique opportunity. Um, I jokingly call it a guilty pleasure. Um, but in all reality, it is an awesome experience. It's an awesome responsibility. It's one that clearly every federal judge takes seriously. Um, I was told when I first arrived, I had already been on the state court in Pennsylvania for 21 years as a state trial judge before I became a federal judge. Uh, but my newfound colleagues told me, Darnell, this is the best job in the world. They are accurate. It is truly an incredible responsibility and a very, very